out on a beautiful day just outside Kilty. It's um, Sunday morning and uh, as you can hear the birds are singing in the sky and it's, uh, it's really nice. It uh, makes such a difference when you get up and do something like a walk. It uh, just gets, gets you out, save lying in bed all day and uh, loosens off all your muscles and you feel the benefit throughout the whole day. Not just uh, during the time that you have your walk. Um, I just want to talk a wee bit about budgeting and that kind of thing. Um, what I've been doing is when I've been going going home with um, my shopping, I put it onto the counter and uh, put it on work top and uh, take all the stuff out and say I've got a bag of one pound crisps and it's got six bags in it. I work out how much each bag is. Same with the the bread. I worked out that each slice is worth about four p. And um, it means that when I'm taking uh, food to work, I um, I'm able to calculate exactly how much I'm taking. And uh, it's quite quite interesting because what you find is that, like, say I was taking apples, bananas, or something like that that's around about the fourteen, or bananas eleven p. Um, apple was uh, four ten pence each, and then I bought a. A pasta meal at a supermarket, and it was like one pound fifty. And uh, you think, wait a minute, that's quite dear compared to everything else. And you think, hey, wait a minute, I'll see if I can get that down a wee bit, even if it means taking maybe not so much half, but um, three quarters, and leave the rest for later on. It just makes it a little bit cheaper, and. Uh, the way I'm looking at it, if I can save one pound per day, I'm able to pay um, a month's rent. So it's it's quite a big incentive to really think about how much money I'm spending on a daily basis. I would say my spending has been relatively under control, but <clears throat> there's been um, I think the problem I have or did have was I was spending through the day and individually you thought that's not too bad. Um, going going to work spending about maybe three pound at break time, three pound dinner time and then maybe a couple of pound um, at three o'clock because you're a bit bored, need a wee boost, something uh, a wee bit of excitement and uh, you come home and you're thinking Oh, there's nothing in the fridge, I may as well have something to eat as well. So you go into the shop, you buy stuff, maybe extras, a couple of cans of fizzy juice, just to be treating the car. And then you, you put stuff in the freezer thinking, oh look, I've saved some money. That'll last me four or five days. But really, in effect, you're, you're kidding yourself on. You're, you're saving absolutely nothing. So, like I say, taking the stuff home, bringing it all out and um, seeing exactly how much individual things cost. The, the most surprising thing I've done, and from because I've done it, I'm not buying it anymore because I'm like, that is bloody expensive. And I'll tell you what it is. I see you can buy porridge in a big massive bag and it costs you 75p and I'm I, when I first started, the first couple of days, I was using four spoonfuls, which was it was cheap. It worked out something like 5p a bowl or something. And then I've gone down to four, only because it's a wee bit easier to eat, because I find that last bit at the end just about too full. So I've got it down to three. And then when you compare it to cereal, it's like 5p, um, 5p a bowl for the porridge and about 50p. For the cereal, so it's like a massive difference. It's um, it's quite shocking when you see stuff like that. It's like this morning I got some pancakes, 69p. See, this is the thing. Individually, you think ah, it's only 69p, um, and I worked it out. Each one was 11 pence per pancake. You can buy bread for four p a slice, so it's a massive saving. It's um, 
it's I know it's a, it might sound a bit stingy when you're cutting you're talking about like pencils and all that but see when you mold it up when you multiply it up over the year it's unbelievable I'm, again see your five pence bags it's sometimes especially when you've been so used to just buying them but then or get them for free and then they've introduced the five p it's quite annoying um when you go to fork out but i worked it out roughly if you're taking two bags a week um over a year that's 10 pound but you might be doing more shops than that so before you know it so you're using four bags a week um it's like 20 pound 25 pound or something that's completely and utterly unnecessary it's 10 pound that you could be spending on food 10 pound for gas 10 pound for electric 10 pound for something else other than something that you're just going to throw away or clog up the kitchen and you can't move so it's a lovely Sunday um, I've been doing two weeks of budgeting I've worked out exactly how much I've spent each and every day and um, I must admit I'm feeling absolutely amazing over it I can't, I can't believe the difference it's because the, it's quite difficult when you first start off because you're spending um, what you're basically spending today for tomorrow so you think you're when you're first starting, you're like, you've got the last week's money that you're spent and this week to do for next week. But it's, um, it's, it's, it's getting there. Last last yesterday, I cooked off a big massive turkey for um, £4.50. I managed to get it in the cool bags and in the in the fridge. I'm going to put it in the freezer later on. And um, But each, each bag... I can get two rolls out of so it's going to cost like 50p for each turkey and maybe it's going to be about um, 8 pence for the bread so like 58 pence that's £1.16 for two rolls where you're paying between maybe 2 3 pounds for a sandwich and a service station it's um, it's just a another way of, um, of of saving but I think even just the fact that you take the stuff home and you divide it up and you make, you see exactly how much you're spending I think that's a good thing because it's so easy to get lackadaisical and you're thinking I'll just have this I'll just have that like I'll be marking my chocolate biscuits I bought six this morning and I guaranteed if I hadn't um, I've been labelling the biscuits for each and every individual days and the time that I can have it so it means that um, when I'm going home I'm not taking a couple for a coffee or something like that because I don't really need it I want that used for work and um, it really does cut down your calories I mean I've, I'm almost um, under um, 16 stone and that's, that was even just two weeks ago I was um, over 17 stone so it really can make a difference it's um, I think when you're doing when you're bursting in a shop and you've got two minutes to get something and you well I, I do lorry driving so you you just think I'll have that, that and that you're not really thinking, you're just thinking, I need it now. And then 